Hello, and welcome to this, the second season of the Dungeon Build Along project. If you're new here, then my name's Chris, and if you haven't already seen it, then I really do recommend that you go back and watch season one first, as that's where I cover all of the basics. You know, how to make the tiles, the doors, and so on. But uh, yeah, back in season one, we made this little starter dungeon that you can see here, complete with a few simple encounters to go along with it. So, since I left that dungeon kind of open-ended, um, there was an option at the end to have it descend down to a deeper level if you wanted to, um, this time I thought it would be a nice idea to do just that, to, uh, to continue down to level 2 of the same dungeon. Though, in truth, you could probably use this new level as a standalone adventure as well, if you really wanted to. So yeah, Season 2 is going to carry on where Season 1 left off, and we're going to be using pretty much the same tools and materials that we did before. Except that this time, we're going to swap out the super glue for some PVA glue, and we'll also need a large glass marble, or something similar. And if you took part in the last build along, you should hopefully have most of this stuff already. Anyway, in this episode, we'll just get most of the basic stuff out of the way first, so I'll just quickly run through all of the different tiles that we'll need to make. So. Just like we did last time, we'll need to print out the two floor textures and stick them to some double corrugated cardboard or foam core, you know, whatever you prefer. Then, when they've had plenty of time to dry, we'll cut them to the sizes that you can see here. Um, if you look carefully, there's actually a few guidelines on the page to, uh, to save you having to measure everything out. And, uh, and then, we'll glue all of the wall sections into place, so that we end up with a room with four exits, a room with one exit, a long passage, a dead end passage, and a short passage with some steps leading down to a small drain. And here's the actual pieces. So that's the tiles from one of the pages, and these are the tiles from the other. And because all of these tiles are fairly modular, we can also reuse some of the tiles from season one as well, just to make this level a little bit bigger. So here's what the overall layout is going to look like, and to make things a little bit clearer, I've highlighted all of the old tiles here in red. And, uh, and now, all of the new tiles highlighted here in blue. So, that's the tiles done. Okay then, another thing that we can get ready are both of the doors, as, again, this is something that I covered in Season 1. However, this time we have a strange mechanical looking door, and we also have this kind of stone slab, with an inscription on one of the sides. And this last one is going to be part of a puzzle. Well, this whole level is a bit of a puzzle really, but I'll, I'll talk more about that in a later episode. But uh, yeah, I think that should be enough to keep you busy for a while. And as before, the plan is to release one of these videos every week, so that at the end of the month, we should end up with another level of the dungeon completed. So all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. Um, do let me know in the comments if you're going to be building along with me, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. So, thanks again, and bye for now.